Hey guys, it's me coming back in another video, and today, after high demand, you guys want this so bad, we're finally doing it, McDonald's Hamburger Maker. I'm so excited to finish off the McDonald's Makers, and one of the interesting things about the McDonald's Makers like these are, I was actually the first kid to start reviewing these, which is just, I thought, really cool, and a lot of people have done them since. And if you guys like maker videos like this, make sure to leave a like and comment down below if you like makers to tell me to do more makers and things like this. So I'm so excited to finish the series off with the hamburger maker. And this is the biggest set it looks like, so I'm really excited. On the front, it has a McDonald's logo as its Happy Meal Magic Hamburger Snack Maker. Make delicious snacks that you can eat that look like McDonald's hamburgers. These foods found at home. And it kind of looks like a meatball from the meat. That's kind of weird. On the side, one pour in the ingredients and mix, two press it into a patty, and three fix them up like McDonald's hamburgers. On the back, it says hamburger snack maker. Enjoy the magic of McDonald's in your home. It's so easy to make delicious snacks that look like world famous McDonald's hamburgers. We've made all the other McDonald's makers, so we'll leave a link to those in the description below. And they show them at the bottom there, so you can see. So obviously this is not going to taste like a hamburger, but it's going to be a really sweet version. And I'll show you guys what we're going to make it with in a minute. But also, again, it was made in 1996, which is, makes it really cool. And it's just awesome all these makers that they used to make back then. They should make a lot more of these new makers for different restaurants that are newer and sell them. I think a lot of people will buy them. So we're gonna take it out of the package and then we're gonna clean it off and we'll be right back. Okay, so here's what you get. You get your instructions, you get a little spatula, you get two trays, you get some coupons for the other makers, you get a hamburger wrapper and you get a yellow cheeseburger wrapper. Then we have the maker itself right here. We have, this is where you do the mustard and the ketchup. You press down there and it comes out. Down here you have these little storage bins. You can put your items. You have a little press so you can make your pickles. You have this one so you can make cheese. And you have this one so you can make tomatoes. Also, this is where you'll press your burger to make it form, to make it look like a burger, right there. Then you have decals up here and around there. Over here is where you'll crank to make the mixture move around and all go together. You have, you put the ingredients in here. And then they'll come out the bottom there. And at the back, it's supposed to sound like it's a grill, but I don't think so. Here's what it sounds like. I don't think it sounds like a grill at all. It's just like a wind-up toy, but it's kind of a weird feature to it. It's time to start making the burgers. Okay, so first we're going to put our ketchup and mustard inside of here. Well, it's obviously it's not actually ketchup and mustard. It's just red and yellow icing. The yellow is for the mustard and the red is for the ketchup. So we just lift these up here. We take our icing. Now we just put this, the yellow icing in there, just like this. Okay. And now we get our red and we put it in now for the buns for our hamburgers we're going to be using vanilla wafers and the instructions you just put them in this little bin right here so let's open them up and let's just put a few in there we go. Now we're going to start making our burgers. Now we have to take one teaspoon of peanut butter and put it on the bottom blade right here. So to do that, about right now, 
So I put the peanut butter on the bottom blade down there. So now I flip it over and we put it in. So now you take one teaspoon of Nestle Quick Chocolate Milk Powder. This is half a teaspoon, so we have to do two of these. And just put it in the top there. So now we take two scoops of our Rice Krispies and put them in for our burger. Let's see. Let's see, that's pretty good. We put them right in. We're missing the scooper in this set, so we're going to use the end of the spatula to help grind it up. Because that's what the directions say. So we're going to put the end of it like that. And there we go. It's grinding it up. Now one more scoop of the Rice Krispies. to add in one and a half teaspoons of water. Now we're going to mix it for 25 turns and then I think all pa our patties will be done. It's making them. Okay, so now all we have to do is pull this out and crank the handle and it'll go down here into there always going in there okay so now we pull this out flip it over and we gotta get it out now onto our spatula <sighs> there we go this looks a little bit like poo this is kind of gross look at that it really does oh that's kind of gross but now oh, let's put it back on now we move it up here and we put it in here and it will form it to make it actually look like the McDonald's hamburger so we just put it under here. So now we'll flip it over there. Line it up. Now we move it down and it'll make it look like a burger. There we go. Let's do it one more time. There we go. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that patty. So now let's scoop it up. Here is our little burger patty. It turned out really good actually. When it went into there, when it went into this little press right here, it made it look a lot better because before it looked a lot like poo. Okay, so we take our fruit roll for the pickles, tomato, and cheese. And we just do little prints. So here are our pickles, tomato, and cheese. We put one of the vanilla wafers, which is the bun, on the bottom. Now let's put our pickles on. Our tomato. And our big piece of cheese. Now let's put it back over here. And let's put some of our Let's put some of our mustard on there, just like that, and some ketchup. This is going to turn into be a really good burger. So here's what it looks like. We have completed our McDonald's hamburger. Now let's try a bite. Here we go, we've waited all day for this. That's a very odd taste. It really just tastes like a little vanilla wafer and then a lot of peanut butter and just a little bit of chocolate. So it kind of just tastes like a peanut butter chocolate cookie. 
I didn't really taste anything else. It was definitely a success, but it didn't taste at all what I was thinking, but it tasted like a peanut butter chocolate cookie. And today's notification shout goes to Luca Demetria. Thanks for turning my notifications on. All you have to do, guys, hit that notifications and then comment when you're done. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give a big thumbs up and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.